hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel uh this is another question to have fun with it says if uh, log redeem x base 2 plus log y base 2 is equal to 5 and then x plus y is equal to 18 we should find x and y so what do you do uh immediately you see two equations you should be aware that you are actually going to simultaneous equation you know because once you have two equations and you're seeing two variables as well so it means that you need uh, to solve simultaneously the two of them to be able to get the values of the two variables okay so what do i do i would need to see how the first equation which is the one in logarithm will help me to get an equation like this or even if it is not addition it could be multiplication and then i will be able to solve it together with this to get what i want so what do i do here by the law of logarithm if i have x sorry log uh, say a base x plus the log of uh, b in base x also this is uh, equal to log a times b in base x so so far as the bases are the same then addition is the same as multiplication so that means that our log y sorry log x base 2 plus log y base uh, 2 is simply the same as the uh, remember is equal to 5 so that means we can actually write this as a log x y base 2 is equal to 5 and of course by the definition of logarithm this is the same thing as you recall that if you have log uh, say x base a to be equal to n we are told that a raised to the power of n is equal to x okay so what this means is that uh, our 2 raised to the power of 5 is equal to x y okay therefore i can actually you know write uh, my i can say let then my x y be equal to 2 raised to the power of 5 is 32 so this is now my equation one originally which was the logarithm so why this is equation two so i want to now solve the two of them simultaneously so if i bring my equation one uh, i have x y is equal to 32 and then equation two is x plus y is equal to 18 okay so from equation two i can actually write uh, x in terms of y or y in terms of x and then substitute into equation uh, equation one okay so let me do y in terms of x that's going to give me 18 minus x so this is like equation three now if i substitute it into this equation i am going to get that my x so wherever i see y i remove it and put 18 minus x is then equal to 32 okay so this immediately leads us to quadratic equation so you are going to have that 18x minus x squared that's opening the bracket is equal to 32 and if you take the whole of the left hand side to the right hand side it's going to give you minus x squared will become positive then 18x crossing over will okay of course please take note that when i take this to this side it will become plus x squared and it will not be here again and then when i take this one to that side it will become minus 18x and it won't be here so the only thing i have left on the left hand side is uh, zero okay so now the the only thing i will now do is to rearrange it i want this to actually be on the left hand side now so i will start with x squared minus 18x and then plus 32 remember this 32 is positive and that is equal to zero okay so at this point i can now solve this quadratically so recall that to solve this you can use factorization method 
by asking yourself what are the two factors meanwhile the coefficient of x squared is one so if i multiply it by 32 i'm going to get 32 okay so i'm looking for the two factors of uh, 32 that i will add to get minus 18 i will multiply to get 32 okay so let's try to do that now okay so if we try to do that the two factors are going to be six minus 16 and uh, minus 2 okay so immediately you get those two factors you recall the easy approach i thought on factorization open two brackets here and then put in your x inside the two brackets now pick the two factors you have gotten just attach them here minus 16 and minus 2 equate everything to zero so either that x minus 16 is zero or your x minus 2 is zero so what that means is that my x is 16 or positive 2 so we have found our x and we can actually now solve for y so to get our y you can substitute into this particular formula here to get your y or even here any one so if i use this one now so if, if i use there it means my y is 18 minus x so when my x is 2 or 16 then my y will be 2 and when my x is uh, 2 my y will be 16. therefore what it means is that our x is equal to 16 or 2 and our, our y is correspondingly 2 or 16. so when our x is 16 our y is 2 and when our y is 2 our x is 16. and that is the solution to this problem and that's all i have for us in this video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on our social media handles on facebook um, and on twitter also we'll see you in our next video Bye.